um, mean brains and we just caught up one time and he actually asked me to come along to the draft. But I think in his head he was expecting me to be recruited to his team. <laughs> but yet I've just I've ended up yeah, playing for Richmond instead. <laughs> Not only did he not recruit you to Collingwood, but you're playing against you're playing for the arch enemy, Brendan. That yeah. didn't really turn out how you'd planned when you took Yasmina out for a beer a year ago. Ah, oh, yeah, I should have gave her a couple of more beers, but um, <laughs> <laughs> I know I was legless, but anyway. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, Yaz is uh, she's been fantastic. Competition, you surely you hate Essendon and Richmond. You must hate Essendon and Collingwood. Do, do they still exist, the rivalries on the court? Yeah, definitely. Probably just not as much as we hate Carlton. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, last time I was at Carlton, I came out of the room and my actually wheelchair was on bricks and I was still sitting on it. They were that quick. Um, <laughs> sorry, mate. As well. There's something new coming to the footy scene on the weekends. It is the Wheelchair Football League. It features the Bombers, the Hawks, the Saints, the Tigers and the Magpies and the man who will captain Coach Collingwood is with us at the desk, Brendan Stroud. Brendan, hey, welcome. Guys. Thanks, mate. How are you guys? Very good. What's um, going to happen on the weekend? Oh, God, excitement for everybody in a, in a wheelchair. Uh, looking forward to this launch. It's been probably in the making for the last uh, three years or so. Um, so, f person from like myself coming... Uh, uh, playing football before my accident and stuff and now realising after my accident I can pull on a black and white jumper again uh, or uh, as a player this time. It's fantastic. So. Is the favourite saying in wheelchair footy good hands? Uh, well, definitely not good legs. So. Well, it can't um, be good legs, but so <laughs> tell me how you play. Handball? Handball, a handball is a kick. Uh, yeah. An underarm throw is a hand pass. So anything below shoulder height uh, considers a hand pass. Uh, uh, so you can get the terminology you need, a hand pass being a kick. Yeah. All right, so you, three metres away, you can take the hand pass, get that mark, take your time, obviously control the game. Uh, Anything below shoulder height uh, will be considered as a hand pass. So you've got two seconds to get rid of it. Right -o. Otherwise, you know, you'll be out of touch, a bit like touch football. Tell me, tell me, Shady, are most of the players a, a result of actions, born without legs? Uh, did they play, some of them play football before it's they had issues with their... Legs. It's a combination of it. We've got so many wide variety of people playing this game and it's a fantastic, for all genders as well, uh, for all abilities. We've got some able-bodied people playing. Uh, each team has got at least one female in it as well. So um, so people born with their disabilities, people acquire their disabilities. So it, it's open for everybody. So it's a great opportunity for people who have uh, probably never walked and but love a team and now can you know, turn around and say, oh, I can pull on a Collingwood jumper or a Richmond jumper, uh, Essendon, Hawthorne or St Kilda and being able to light up and say, hey, I can do this. Did you, you had a car accident at 21, 22? I had a car accident when he was 22 last year. Did you? Aged badly, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you, were you playing footy before that? Yeah, I played a lot of football in my teenage life. Yeah. I played for Hampton Rovers, East Sandringham, yeah. Mornington, Tyab. Uh, so I played a lot of footy. So you're a bit of a footy... Yeah. I was going to say, can't you? You, uh, you, can use you got around a bit with your footy. I oh, did, yeah. I really got around. Is that the <laughs> word you're trying to look for? No. So, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so, so how, right. how important has sport been to you since oh, Sport your is, uh, for myself, it, it's been a huge impact, especially after my accident. All the athletic stuff I did before my accident was... Uh, uh, fantastic and uh, I didn't know what was around for people with disabilities when I had my accident and like everyone's got a passion everyone's got a flame inside them and uh, that little flame in me decided I don't want to be here anymore uh, the first anniversary was the hardest and uh, I was out with some friends and went home and thought shit I can't do this anymore and uh, almost didn't um, then I found disability sport and recreation um, their uh, the sport program and recreational program is to help people in Victoria to get out and do something. You look at 20% uh, of the population has some sort of disability and you look at 20% of that population, also 48% of that has some sort of mental illness as well. If people are sitting at home, and so tell me if I'm wrong here, the young boys and girls in the wheelchair sitting at home and listening to you right now, what do they do? How do they, is there any somewhere out there they could contact or...? Yeah, disability sport and recreation, if you go to DSR... Well, they'd be aware of that, wouldn't they? Well, not, not everybody's aware no. of it. Um, so dsr.org.au, uh, you can look those guys up and uh, we have a lot of programs, a wheel talk program where we actually go out to schools and universities and companies as well. We talk about disability sport and recreation, what it means to everybody and obviously we talk about our own accident. We get people in basketball, sports chairs, so you can play basketball or football or some sort of version of soccer, so we change up the sports, so we can adapt in 
sport uh, we can think of and uh, do stuff. So, what sort of coach are you? Uh, pretty hard nut. So oh, yeah, really? Do you yell at you? Yeah, I have yelled at a few. And uh, I've crack jokes at them to get always them. cracking jokes, man. Yeah. Always cracking jokes. It's like getting the eggs off the top shelf. They fall down. They've got to crack up somehow. So uh, I'm really bad with my jokes. And the <laughs> got, um, and even though we can't use our legs to kick, we still kick better than some forwards, uh, which is pretty <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah, so. that's true. Sorry, Trav. Um, uh, but yeah, it's it's about getting out and doing something. And uh, disability sport and recreation has been a big part of my life. It saved my life. The sport has been my saving, has really? my passion. It got me going again. Uh, wheelchair netball was my first sport I got back into. I stopped playing that because my hero legs didn't really match the sports. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, then I found basketball and took that pretty much like duck to a water and travelled around Australia. parts of the world. Now it's footy. So. Uh, yeah, now footy. So I've coached the national team for the last three years. Um, I broke my leg last year, so I couldn't play. I broke that a week before nationals oh. as well. So, uh, Did that hurt? No, not really. <laughs> um, Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, you can say that. It, uh, it, was, it was bad because actually uh, the last training session uh, or second last training session I did on, uh, on a Sunday and uh, went to hospital on a Friday. Um, and the uh, doctor said, hey, just walk it off. I said, that's not happening. So, uh, <laughs> so, so Burundara Sports Complex, that's where it starts Sunday, yeah, next 11 Sunday, Sunday coming at 11 a.m. Really? Uh, Collingwood versus uh, the Bombers. And, uh, yeah, that, uh, the Collingwood should uh, beat the Bombers, I hope. So. The very best of luck. Everyone else is. Thanks, guys. The wheelchair footy league Thanks, starts Brandon. this week.